Ukrainian forces launched counter-attacks in separate areas of the front. They seize the initiative. Despite the powerful pressure of the Russian invaders, the Ukrainian defenders still manage to carry out limited counter-attacks. Currently, the soldiers of the armed forces are doing everything possible to seize the tactical initiative. As the American Institute for the Study of War notes, with reference to Western insiders, it is likely that the armed forces will be on the defensive for the next six months. It is about the fact that currently the Ukrainian soldiers do not have the strength and resources to launch a large-scale counter-offensive. Despite this, analysts are already recording the attempts of the Ukrainian army to intercept the tactical initiative, and the armed forces of Ukraine will be able to conduct limited counter-offensive operations even while being mainly on the defensive, depending on the arrival of Western aid. The ISW team predicts. According to another anonymous source, as of today, there are also no signs that the Russian army can make a breakthrough on the battlefield. And this means that until 2025, the situation at the front will remain a stalemate. As Politico writes, citing high-ranking NATO officials, Ukrainian forces have been reinforced with American and European weapons and have leveled the situation at the front. However, the situation at the front is close to a dead end. Ukraine will continue to receive supplies and weapons from the West that it needs to defend itself. I think they have managed to stabilize the front, but obviously the war will remain in a stalemate until the end of this year. That is what we expect said a senior NATO official speaking on condition of anonymity. But according to the ISW, currently the armed forces are actively trying to solve their personnel problems, forming several new brigades and also accumulating Western military aid for the upcoming offensive. The purpose of the armed forces of Ukraine is to undermine the ability of the Russian army to use the initiative in the entire theater of operations and to quickly reduce some pressure on Ukrainian forces. However, these Ukrainian operations do not necessarily have to be separate, large-scale efforts. Instead, they could be a series of complex, counter-offensive operations that will take place in late 2024 and throughout 2025, analysts say. The Russian Shahid Droners flew from Ukraine to Belarus for the second time in a week. Four out of five Shahid drones were shot down on the night of 12 to 13 July over Ukraine. The fifth drone flew towards Belarus. Lieutenant General Mykola Olshchuk, commander of Ukraine's Air Force said this. Today, at night, the armed forces shot down four missiles over Ukraine, and one more flew into the territory of the Republic of Belarus. The Russians launched five Shahid, 131-136 attack drones from Russia's Primorsko-Oktarsk on the night of 12 to 13 July. Four Russian drones were downed by mobile fire groups within Donetsk and Kharkiv oblasts. The fifth drone exited Ukrainian airspace, heading towards Gomel Oblast in Belarus. Belarusian Hayun claims that the Shahid flew over the territory of Belarus more than 350 kilometers up to the Vitebsk region. The Shahid flew over the cities of Gomel and Zlobin, entered Mogilev Oblast, and then Minsk Oblast, coming as close as possible to the city of Minsk. Belaruski Hayun writes that a Mi-24 helicopter and a Su-30 fighter jet were scrambled to intercept the Shahid. The aircraft was spotted just in the area of the UAV's flight, the border of Minsk, Mogilev and Vitebsk Oblasts. Later, the UAV entered Vitebsk Oblast of Belarus and presumably flew towards the city of Vitebsk. It is not known what happened to it further. A similar situation occurred on July 11, the drone also flew to Belarus, where it disappeared from the radar.